Good morning, students. Today we will be discussing about the factors which affect the distribution of population. As we all know that population is not evenly distributed over the surface of the earth. There are areas with a dense population, there are some areas with a moderate population and some areas have a very scarce or a sparse population. Let's discuss the factors which affect the distribution. The first factor is relief. Now we all know that plains are more densely populated than the mountainous areas or areas with steep slopes. That is because plains are level, agriculture can be easily practiced, means of transportation and other construction activities can be easily carried on. The second factor is climatic conditions. Moderate conditions will invite population to settle down in a particular area, whereas extreme climatic conditions discourage people from settling in a particular area. Thus, areas with a moderate temperature and rainfall will see a dense population. The third factor is soil. Fertile areas having alluvial soil will again attract population as agriculture can be easily practiced. Then we have the natural vegetation. Dense and inaccessible areas are unsuitable for population. That is why the Congo Basin and Amazon Basin are thinly populated. The next factor is the water availability. Now we know that water is required for domestic purposes, industrial and agricultural purposes. And thus our very first civilizations developed along the sides of the river. Even now water is a major source for attracting population to a particular area. Mineral resources. Areas wherever minerals are found will attract population. And that is why the gold rush saw such a heavy migration of people in, the, in Australia because of the discovery of gold to an otherwise barren land. Industries. Any area which has a setup of an industrial agglomeration will attract population because of the various employment opportunities which are present there. Means of transport. Everybody likes to settle down in an area which is easily accessible and thus well developed means of transport will attract a dense population. Urbanization. People like to settle in towns and cities which uh, provide them with a lot of opportunities and facilities. It may be recreation, it may be electricity, it may be good water supply, roads, transport, education, medical etc. And thus there has been a heavy migration from rural to urban areas. Last of all, government policies. Certain government policies have also led to migration of people from one area to another or even maybe a country to another. So these are the main factors which distribute the population or which affect the distribution of population in a particular area. Thank you.